Let's talk about power series solutions of second order differential equations about ordinary points. We will solve the differential equation y double prime minus 6xy six six equals 0 using power series. Using the substitution y equals summation n goes from 0 to infinity of c sub n x the n, find an expression for c sub k plus 2 in terms of c sub k minus 1 for k equals 1, 2, 3. You're wondering how on earth am I going to find an expression for this in terms of this. But you'll see. It's going to work out fine. We said this is y. Take the derivative of both sides. You end up with y prime. That's c sub n, n, x to the n minus 1. Take the derivative again. You get y double prime equals c sub n, n times n minus 1, times x to the n minus 2. We plug all of this into y double prime minus 6xy equals 0. Here's what we get. So this is our y double prime. Here's our 6x right over here. And here's our y right over here. So when we move the x on the n side, this is now going to be x to the n plus 1. Uh, it's kind of awkward to add these series together, because here the general term is something times x to the n minus 2, and here the general term is something times x to the n plus 1. You want those to be the same, otherwise it's like adding meters and feet. We want both series to have terms with the same power of x. Let's shift the summation. In the first sum, in the first inter I say in the first integral. I should have said in the first sum. In the first sum, we're going to let n minus 2 be k, and in the s then k n equals k plus 2. And in the second sum, we're going to let n plus 1 be k, then n equals k minus 1. Okay, so this again was our this again was the series we were we were just adding together. So when we replace n by k plus 2, this is what we end up with. And when we replace n by k minus 1, this is what we end up with. Now we can add the series together. Because uh, what I'd like you to notice, well, first, k plus 2 equals 0. That's kind of awkward. Let's just write that as k equals negative 2. And if k minus 1 equals 0, that just means k equals 1. k starts at 1. OK, so here's the sum we've got. k begins at 2, negative 2. k begins at 1, which again is a little awkward because this one gets a head start. So, so at the beginning of the same place, uh, let's just write out the first few terms of these, this series here. So this is the k equals negative 2 term. This is the k equals negative 1 term. What I'd like you to notice is that this is 0 and this is 0. So they just drop out. And all we're left with is, is this term here plus the two series. OK, so this just simplifies to c0 times 2 times 1. Uh, plus this series minus 6 times this series. So here's what we end up with, uh, 2c0 plus these two series, this one, this one. You can combine the two series because they both are some coefficient times x to the k. So we end up with 2c0 sub zero plus summation k goes from 1 to infinity of c sub k plus 2 times k plus 2 k plus 1 minus 6 c sub k minus 1, and that's all times x to the k. OK, so here's the series we were talking about earlier. Uh, you can see by comparing coefficients that c is 0, 0, because the constant coefficient on this side is 2c sub 0. What's the constant coefficient on this side? That's just 0. So c sub 0 equals 0. Next, you compare coefficients. What's the coefficient of x to the k on this side? Well, that's just going to be this messy expression. And the coefficient of x to the k on the other side, that's just 0. So we know that this must equal 0. In other words, c sub k plus 2 times k plus 2 times k plus 1 equals 6 c sub k minus 1. Or we've got it. Let's just divide both sides by k plus 2, k plus 1. We have c sub, c sub k plus 2 equals 6 c sub k minus 1 all over k plus 2, k plus 1. Good. Find two power series solutions of y double prime minus 6xy equals 0 about the ordinary point x equals 0. So this is the differential equation we were dealing with just a moment ago. So here's the formula we found for c sub k plus 2 in terms of c sub k minus 1. This is really going to come in handy. When we plug in k equals 1, we end up with c3 equals 6 c sub 0 over 1 plus 2, 1 plus 1. In other words, 6 times 0, oh, that, that's just going to be 0. So c3 is 0. Next, when you plug in k equals 2, you get c4 equals 6c sub 1 over 2 plus 2, 2 plus 1. 
In other words, 6 C sub 1 over 4 times 3. So we're going to write that as 6 over 4 times 3 times C1. In the same way, if you plug in K equals 3, you end up with, you know, after you do the math, you end up with 6 C2 over 5 times 4. In other words, 6 over 5 times 4 times C2. Let's do the same thing for other values of k. Plug in k equals 4, and we get 6c3 over 6 times 5. Ah, but c3 was 0, so all of this is just 0. That means c6 is 0. Plug in k equals 5, you get c7 equals this messy expression, 6c4 over 7 times 6. Uh, notice, though, c4, based on what we'd seen on the other slide, is 6 over 4 times 3, c1. So we're just going to express all of this C7 in terms of C1. So C7 is this messy expression times C1. And in the same way, you plug in K equals 6, you end up with C8 equals this expression. Uh, everything's in terms of C5, but you know, we, we know what C5 is based on what we've done earlier. C5 is 6 over 5 times 4, C2. See, that's what we ended up with on the previous slide. Okay. So uh, k equals 7 will lead to c9 equals 6, c6. c6 we saw earlier was 0, so just c9 equals 0. You can eventually see the pattern. So our solution is going to be y equals summation c sub n x to the n, in other words, c0 plus c1x plus c2x squared plus blah, 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 blah. Okay, so c0 is 0, so that's going to drop out. Uh, we get c1x plus c2x squared c3 is going to drop out because that's 0. c4 can be rewritten as 6 over 4 times 3, c1. c5 can be rewritten as 6 over 5 times 4, c2. Uh, c6 drops out because, you know, yeah, c6 drops out. Uh, so we end up with this expression, uh, this messy expression times c1 times x to the 7th, this messy expression times c2 times x to the 8th, etc. And that's our solution. Now the constant C1 and C2 can be chosen independently. So our two power series solutions, again, you just break this up. You got one C1 series, you got one C2 series. So the two power series solutions, this is what happens when you isolate the C1 terms. You get Y1 of X equals C1X plus 6 over 4 times 3 C1X the fourth plus 6 over 7 times 6 times 6 over 4 times 3 C1X the seventh, etc. And in the same way, y2 equals c2x squared plus 6 over 5 times 4, c2x to the fifth, blah, 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 etc. In fact, every solution y is a linear combination of y1 of x and y2 of x. y of x equals k1, some constant k1 times y1 of x, plus some constant k2 times y2 of x for some constants k1 and k2.